My name is Lin Gerpan and I'm a photographer based in Ljubljana. So the point of departure for the project is an area um, of a disused uh, quarry that was used for a road construction company for producing asphalt. The industrial complex consists of several sectors in different states of disuse. The area is thought to have been used for similar purposes for centuries, but the quarry began operating in a more modern form in the 1930s. From the early 1980s onwards, the site has been subject of a number of unsuccessful redevelopment plans until the construction company succumbed to the depletion of its assets by the management and the bad bank took control of the property. Most of the buildings in the industrial plant have since been demolished, but parts of the area have been overgrown or have become part of public space, while the central part is still in use as a dumping ground for construction waste. By collecting and studying the photographs, the minutes of meeting and the letters, postcards, online posts, professional publication and other uh, personal objects and archival materials and by creating my own photographs of the material traces in the landscape I explore the social and environmental consequences of the transition from the former socialist economic system with workers self-management to the market economy with the strong tendencies of a small number of individual actors towards the rapid accumulation of capital. I map the period of political and economic transition through the imprints it leaves on the economy, on workers' lives and on the environment. This is an image of the American singer and actor Richard Chamberlain. It's taken from a small postcard that was printed by a local paper company. The name beneath the image was actually misspelled and uh, I found this postcard deep in the limestone dust that came from the rocks being crushed to make them a suitable size for producing asphalt. This green landscape is an image of one of the properties in the bankruptcy estate of the road company. It was taken with a mobile phone of the screen of a computer showing street view on Google Maps and one of the lawyers uploaded this image online in order to get offers to sell this property. This is an image of one of the internal walls uh, deep in one of the abandoned buildings in the quarry. In the middle of the image we can see that someone has been taking note of every time first snow fell uh, in the late 1970s. For the road workers that had to clear the snow, this would have been information of when they can expect to work next year. But for most other people, the words first snow um, alludes to uh, romantic songs about Christmas and first snow, like a metaphor for first love. Uh, hi, my name uh, is Jakub Stanek. I am from Poland and I want to tell you about my last project uh, in anticipation of the sun, how I work on it and what it's about. When my son was uh, three years old, it was four years ago, we have been at home and he asked me if he can go outside with me to play on the backyard. And I told him that we can't because the smoke is outside. And smoke is very similar word to smok in Polish. And smok means dragon. And my uh, then three years old son took the knife and told me that we have to fight with that uh, dragon. And I discovered that I don't know how to explain him what the smog is. And that was the beginning of our process explaining him uh, what the smog is. I remember uh, his first draw of smog and he drew a lot of lines and that was the smog in his head at the beginning. And then 
the next step was that I tried to build kind of installation uh, to show him how the smoke uh, is and uh, we've got the picture which one was the first picture of, of this series installation of, of smog and then we went through everything about uh, how the smog has impact on ourselves on our planet how it's working with our body and uh, our health and also how it's working with plants trees and whole uh, air pollution and everything also we've got pictures that show Kaitek, my son some abstractic way how I understand that uh, the smoke is working on with us. And we've got a picture with a person uh, who is covered by a white sheet and uh, where that person should has a, a mouth. We can see on th that material a uh, dirty, small piece of dirty fabric where that person should has a mouth. And that was very important for Kaitek to understand it that every breath he can have it outside uh, when the smoke is outside is giving him a breath with the smoke inside his lungs. In the whole series we've got also uh, only one picture on which one we have person like a human being and the human being is naked in very natural position and uh, is standing in the middle of uh, the biggest main and electric fabric in Europe and that main is in Poland and uh, on that picture I wanted to confrontation the person uh, like a human being with something which is not natural and has very bad influence on the human being.